Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a crook for YouTuber destroying <laughs> Debbie along no by and I don't know what this is. And today I am doing a part two in a video that I saw on its makeup corner Nikki Raven do. I can leave them down in the description and I really wanted to do this, so I did one and you seem to like it and I did like it too. So I'm going to go through 10 of my old looks so i have uh, went back to i i'm sorry my english abilities today's or like my speech abilities today's whatever language i'm trying to speak is not not super good uh, so i have gone back in my instagram feed and taken out the next 10 looks and if you want me if you want me to keep doing these please let me know because I think it's fun to see like how I've changed and also like see what I think I could do better now. I don't know if I will redo any of these looks. I have done a lot of series on my channel and I had one like old look new palette that I did really like to do. I think I did two parts maybe. Yeah. Um, but I like to, or I think it's fun to see how you evolve. Okay, let's just hop into this. And if you want to see the first part, I can leave it up here. So I will scooch and then we will start because I will, of course, put in some pictures. It's just a pain in the ass to edit this, but here we go. So I am in the end of 2018. Uh, this is from November. And this was my first impression with the LH Cosmetics Infinity Deep Palette. And uh, I did really, really love this look. The Infinity Deep Palette is a palette that I use sometimes. Um, for some reason, I don't use my LH Cosmetics palettes that much. I don't know why, because I think they are really good. I usually use them when... Uh, we are on a trip, um, maybe a weekend away, because then I can take two palettes. I take the two Infinity palettes, the deep and the normal, the first one, and I can do like a face and and I look. I'm going to sit a little bit. Like the, you come, it doesn't look any difference from you. <laughs> um. I did really like this look and I don't think it's any wrong with it. Maybe I should have taken deeper color as well and deepened down my outer corner. But yeah, I do really like this. The only thing, like my hair, I don't know. Like I have had long hair many times in my life. Um, like really long hair, like long, long, long hair down to my butt. Um, longer than like over and down under the butt I don't know why I'm talking about this now when I'm going to do it uh, long hair is nice but it's just if you never ever have had long hair you don't know the struggles like it's a way in the way the whole freaking time and it's like too heavy to have like to do anything with it here i don't think i had that long hair but i just had grown out my side cut and i think it's showing like here on my neck it's um, the end of my side cut okay whatever yeah i did really like this look the next look is with the, the second look with the infinity deep and this is actually a look that i do more before but this is a look that I do sometimes when I want to have a little bit of a darker look and um, but not like a whole smoky eye um this I have done a hundred times with different palettes but with this infinity deep I think it looks really really good the gold is gold shade is really good and the black is really good in the infinite palettes I think it's in the infinity and the infinity deep it's a black shade and it is a really good black shade and I do really like this look I 
usually don't pair it with this kind of lipstick anymore. I like to pair it with a red lipstick instead or something more nude and not this pinkish. But yeah, I think this look is good. I don't know though my eyebrows, but I don't know about my eyebrows today either, so whatever. But yeah, I did really like this look and it is a look that I do quite often. The next look is also, this was my first impression with a Poison Garden from Nabla. And this is a combo, I had a look with this combo in the first video with another palette. This combo is a favorite when it comes to me. A dark blue and an orange. Uh, it is a really good combo. I think it's, it is more fun than like a black and orange. And I think it's a really fun look. I don't know about like the blue, but this blue is shit um, in the Poison Garden. I, I hate this blue shade. But yeah, I, I do like the look. I do think though that I maybe should have taken something in my crease and blend it up. The blue, I, I think I'm better now. I really hope um, that I take my eyeshadows higher. I talked about this in my first video as well. Because I think this, I don't have that big eyes. I have kind of small eyes, I think, or I have normal eyes. I have no idea, but I don't have big eyes. And I think that... Yeah, I think I'm just better now to adapt to my shape of my eye. Then we have this look. And this was a collab look. I think it was a face-off. It was such a long time since I did a face-off, which is really fun. And this was with Danielle Smith. Uh, she doesn't have an, her YouTube channel anymore. I follow her on Instagram, though. But yeah, uh, we did a collab with... A blush try palette and yeah this is like a palette bingo and the blend oh where is it it's, it's not like here I think these shadows are blendable together but I just feel like the yellow I have it feels like it's just in a little corner I wish that I have taken the yellow on more space on my lid but yeah, I do like the color combo, but I don't think it's such a good look. And some of you are really nice to me and like, you never do a bad look. I don't agree, but thank you very much. I don't think this look is that good, but the combo is good, but it's like too squared. I don't like it. And I hope that I don't do this anymore. Like today I haven't, but I have a shimmer today, so yeah. But mm, I don't know. And it's the same thing <laughs> with this look. This is the radioactive stack from Melt. And I did really want to do a look with all the shades. And I do like the thought of it. I don't like how I have done it. I think... I don't know if I do that anymore, but like... In the beginning with my channel and when I started doing more colorful makeup looks, I did really want like, I had a vision, like here it was, I want to use all the four shades and I'm going to make this work. I did use all the four shades, I didn't make it work, no, I did not. But I think the thought was good, but uh, I think I needed some more colors. And it was about this. I was too afraid to mix them together or blend them together. Because like the orange and the yellow would have gone really, really good to mix together. Maybe not like the pink and the green. But yeah, the blending skills isn't there. I think I have some more blending skills now than I have before. But the next look is this one. I think this is with... Um, I have tagged Lime Crime, so I guess it is with the uh, Venus 2 palette. Here, the blend is a little bit better, but at the same time, these colors go really, really good together, so I don't know why I didn't blend them. I think, like, one problem I had before 
that I don't feel like I have that much now because I don't have that big eyes and I don't have big eyelids so like I felt okay I'm going to have three colors so I really have to do like one stripe here one stripe here and one stripe here to get them all to fit because these colors are really good together and they would have mixed it really well but I think it's like too blocky like it's three stripes and one shade in my crease and I think this would have been better if I have taken one of the darker shades in my crease as well and deepened down my crease and then just mixed them a little bit more together because even though I mixed them more I still think I would have you would have seen all three colors so this was a thing that I quite often did and uh, which I don't do anymore but I like the color combo and this is definitely something that I could do today but I would have mixed them a little bit more together. Then we have looks from my second Free Looks One palette which was with uh, Nabla, po no, Nabla Soul Blooming and I remember when I did that Free Looks One palette I wanted to do one neutral look, one bluish purple and one pink and this is the bluish purple and it's the same thing here. I don't think that my blend was really good. The dark shade and out the corner or the half of my lid. I always wanted to take so much of the darkest color because I really wanted to show uh, but I think it would have even if I haven't gone that far and like also like the blend up in my crease it's really dark like out here the, the color combo is a good color combo and uh, I think it would if I would redo this look I think it would be a really nice look but I the blending skills wasn't wasn't there <laughs> I hope that you get what I mean I think like I was a little bit afraid that not all the shades would show, um, but um, yeah, it, it's like I was a little bit afraid to blend too much, but you can't really blend too much because everything is going to be seen. But this is another look that I did with the Soul Blooming palette, and this look is a little bit better. I still don't think you can see like a line with the lighter shimmer and the darker shimmer but this is better and I also think that like my crease is better but just blend the freaking shades together more but I have nothing like more to complain about this and this was when I did experiment a lot with new colors I haven't used that many colors and that much before these looks so it's fun like to see how I'm <laughs> evolving. So yeah, I like this look and I think it's a pretty good look. The next look is this was a collab video with Ellie or Alexandria Alexandra and um, we did choose each other's colors and this is I think this is a cool halo eye and <laughs> here you can like really see that I'm not afraid just to take colors and I, I think like I have decided what I wanted to do and then she gave me the colors and I was like I still going to do this because this is a matte halo eye with a shimmer in the corner I think this looks pretty good even though like the blend up in the crease is a little bit so and so but I think this is a cool look and I do as I said really like this combo I think that orange blue and also purple goes really good together and I remember that I was happy with this look and I thought it was kind of like a unique look and yeah I guess it still is so I do like this but I think I could have done it so much better and the last look is um, a look that I did with one of my favorite palettes at a time and it's the Paulina palette from Blush Tribe and I remember with this look I just I really wanted to use the 
light greens but I also wanted some depth to it and I didn't wanted to use like doing whole a whole green look and I think <laughs> as for the most that I've said about these looks in this video I think it is like the idea is good the execution is maybe not great I still think it's a fun look and I do remember how happy I was about this look I was so stoked for the palette and I was like really happy with this look I thought it came out so cool and I did though love that I did color combos that yeah I just wanted to try and uh, it's not a fantastic look it's not a horrible look um, but I think it's a cool, col cool color combo and I love that I did really try. Did I try more them than I do now? And yeah, that was the next 10 looks. I do really hope that you have liked this video. And do you think it's fun? I don't know if it's fun to hear me talk about my old looks. But I think it's fun to see and like what have I what could I have done better and it's just fun to see my old looks because these are looks from the end of 2018 like four years ago but yeah please tell me what you think and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one bye